What exactly did black people ever do? Like I'm genuinely asking, what did we ever do to deserve anti-blackness in every single community? We were brought over here in chains. We were beat, raped, and murdered. We fought for our freedom just to end up with Jim Crow and segregation and being lynched by the KKK. We were segregated into our own communities, then denied jobs, denied funding for our schools. You kill our black men, then make fun of us for not having fathers. You dehumanize and demonize and kill our black women and nobody bats an eye. What exactly did black people do? What exactly did we do? Just about every black person in the world have had that same question that this sister had. What did we do? There are individuals in all nations that, that like black people. There are some in all nations that love black people. But when I speak, I speak as a collective. A minority of any group does not represent the whole. Because you know, when you make these kind of messages, it's gonna be somebody, I don't feel that way. So let's go ahead on and establish that up front. It's no nation on the earth that loves us. They find the most penny any excuses to justify their anti-black, you know, racism and anti-black hatred. Oh, well, we don't like black people because they're lazy. That's a personal thing to that person. And there's lazy people within your group too. Oh, we don't like people, black people because they commit crime. And yet you commit crime as well. Some of the white supremacists, you commit way more crimes and heinous crimes than we ever can commit. Oh, well, I don't like black people because, you know, some of the men, they violate women. Um, you lead in violation of women and children, according to the FBI. What are you talking about? We, as a people, did not colonize Latin America. We didn't colonize Asian countries. We didn't come to the Americas in the, with the Native Americans. We didn't give them blankets of smallpox. We didn't do that. We didn't take rocks and bash Native American children's heads in. We didn't do that. If you look and read the book, Confessions of an Economic Hitman, and it talks about how Latin America was destabilized, we didn't do anything about that. We didn't make sure drugs was flowing into communities. We didn't drop an atomic bomb on anybody. We didn't sponsor coups in any nation of the earth. We didn't, we didn't wage war and destabilize Iraq. We didn't do things in Afghanistan as a people. And yet people in these other countries who have actually been victims of white supremacy, if anybody I'm gonna join with, I'm going to join with the people who have suffered the most. They rather join with the people that has done everything wrong to them and look at us like we committed atrocity. So it leaves you confused as to why, why would they embrace people who have done atrocity, people who have took their land from them. We talk about the situation like in Los Angeles, where you, you having all this anti-black racism that's going on with the Latino community. You would think that it was black people that took their land from them. They love the people that took their land from them. They love the people that have a hand in keeping Mexico and other countries in Latin America in the conditions that they're in. They love those people. They can't wait to get over here and be with those people. And when they come over here, they have a problem with black people. And it leaves black people in a state of confusion. And you ask, like the sister said, what did we do to y'all? Now I'm going to go spiritually here for a minute because I, I have to do this. It's a uh, John chapter 15, actually verse 18. They say, if the world hates you, you know, it hated me before it hated you. And say, if you were of the world, the world would love his own. I told y'all a long time ago, we are the lowest people. I said that a long time ago. So because we are the lowest people, the world hates us because we don't belong to the world. Let me tell you what happened to me. When I really realized it, one day it just dawned on me like I was in my studio and it just hit me like a ton of bricks. Why does everybody hate us so much? Like seriously, like Dr. John Henry Clark said, we have no friends. I was like, why would he say we have no friends? The relationship with the world with us is that we can't stand black people. We can't stand them for many reasons. Number one, they should have been wiped out a long time ago through colonization and enslavement. We all should have been wiped out. 
how in the world they survived that. We sabotage them every, every chance we get and they still keep rising. We mass incarcerated them. We put crack cocaine in their communities to try to wipe them out. We created a single parent epidemic in the black community through that. How is it that we done all this stuff and now you got black billionaires? How, how in the world are they doing this? We demean them, we dehumanize them, and they still get up in the midst of all that with a smile on their face. During a pandemic, they created more businesses than any other group. How did they do that? It's whole nations that we have broken, that the people are just leaving the nations to come over here because they feel they can only make it if they come over here with us. People don't have our strength. Other people don't have our resilience. They have been broken a lot easier. And y'all talk about fleeing, that's what part of it is. You flee because, you, because you're broken. Many of you keep asking, what's the solution? There will be no more solutions given because we have had enough people who have been prophets and oracles to our people and gave us all the solutions we need. When we come together as a people and work together in our own individual families, it's nothing nobody can do to stop us because we have proven we are the most resilient people on the planet earth. Dr. Claude Anderson told us, which is one of our great prophets, told us that we need to practice group economics. He told us this. He told us what we need to do in politics. He told us everything that we need to do. But just hold your head up. By 2030, you won't even know how the world, the world gonna look so different by 2030. Y'all like, what happened? But it's not gonna be a what happened for us. It's gonna be a what happened for everybody else.